Hello and welcome here. King Shark's future in the DC Universe has been confirmed by Sylvester Stallone following his triumphant premiere in The Suicide Squad. The humanoid shark known as Nanawe and sometimes known as King Shark, who frequently appears as a recurrent antagonist for The Flash and Aquaman, is based on the comic book character created by Carl Kessel and Tom Grummet. Director James Gunn would also include a more juvenile rendition of the character to his version of Task Force X in 2021's The Suicide Squad after the character's first live-action debut in the television series The Flash. Gunn said that he recorded three different performers before choosing Stallone to voice the part, even though Steve Agee performed the motion capture performance for the King Shark movie. Stallone was questioned about his own future return to the franchise now that Gunn is in control of the DC Universe as co-CEO of the recently relaunched DC Studios. The renowned actor was asked by Comic Book whether there were any plans for him to reprise his role as King Shark now that his The Suicide Squad director is in charge of the studio, guaranteeing the character's future in the DC Universe, and expressing his gratitude for his friendship with Gunn. He said, Yes for sure, I think James has been very generous. He and I are pretty tight. So if there's an opportunity. I love him, he's great. Stallone's portrayal of King Shark in the original The Suicide Squad swiftly rose to the top of the list of the movie's most acclaimed elements. Stallone's portrayal of the usually formidable Nanawe gave him a childish simplicity that helped turn him into a true fan favorite. Fans were speculating whether and when Nanawe will make a second appearance even before Gunn was named co-CEO of DC Studios. Stallone's affirmation appears to make King Shark's comeback more plausible than ever now that Gunn is the one who will help design the future of the DC series. Given both Barry Allen and Arthur Curry are frequently King Shark's enemies in the comics, it is conceivable that Nanawe may make a cameo appearance in either The Flash or Aquaman in The Lost Kingdom, both of which are scheduled for release in 2023. Gunn's most recent studio job occurred before the majority of the work on both of those movies was finished, thus the possibility of such a cameo in either picture looks rather modest. But considering Agi's significant position as Argus agent John Economos on the show, it would be considerably more feasible for King Shark to reunite with his former Task Force X partner in Peacemaker Season 2. The previously mentioned Amanda Waller spin-off series, which is anticipated to continue the plotlines from Black Adam and Season 1 of Peacemaker, is another opportunity for Nanawe to make an appearance. Although neither Warner Brothers nor Gunn himself have officially confirmed the series, if it were to ever materialize, it would make sense for Task Force X to play a significant part and aid with King Shark's reintroduction to the DC Universe. Wherever he may go, HBO Max is currently streaming The Suicide Squad, allowing viewers to relive Stallone's King Shark premiere. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you soon.